friends today i am sharing an early fall home tour with you all and i say early because it's not technically fall here yet it sure doesn't feel like fall here in michigan but hopefully uh, this will give you some ideas as you begin to decorate your own homes and as we get further into the season and the temperatures continue to drop i'll probably bring in more pumpkins and cozy textures but for right now, this is what my home looks like and I hope that it gives you some ideas today. So the first space that I want to start in today is my entryway and I really shared a lot of this space already with you in my previous thrifty fall videos here on my channel. Um, but I really just made a few subtle changes that instantly made the entryway feel like fall. A cozy scarf, some dried flowers and stems, and then of course a faux pumpkin until I find some real ones. And that's really all I did here in the entryway. Now, I also decided to switch up the throw blanket that was on my ottoman here. I purchased this on Amazon last fall, and I really think it's beautiful. It has kind of a warm floral pattern, and it just instantly makes the living room feel like fall. I'll be sure to link it for you guys down below. Now, a lot of the artwork you see in my living room, I'm going to go ahead and just leave up for the fall season. I feel like the colors are muted enough that these pieces all work well during this time of year. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave all of these thrifted and secondhand pieces up here on the wall. I think they add some beautiful warmth to the fall decor. All right guys, fall is the season for bread. Unless you're my husband, then every season is bread season. <laughs> but you guys know how much I love to bake homemade sourdough bread for my family. And so I am super excited to tell you about Wild Grain. Wild Grain is the first Bake From Frozen subscription box offering sourdough breads, artisanal pastries, and fresh pasta. They collaborate with small bakers and pasta makers nationwide, preserving the tradition of artisanal, nutritious, Food. So like I said before, you guys, I love to bake homemade sourdough bread, but I can understand how wild grain would be so perfect for someone who doesn't really enjoy baking, they don't have time to make sourdough, or maybe you're like me and you can't even eat sourdough bread. When wild grain first reached out, I thought, you know, I make my own sourdough bread. So I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but every time I make sourdough bread for my family, I can't eat it because of my intolerance to gluten. I don't actually eat any of of the things that I make. Wild Grain has a gluten-free line and it arrived the other day and I cannot even tell you how excited I was to pull all of these little gluten-free goodies out of this box. They have so many gluten-free items to offer. They sent me all different kinds of breads, including some gluten-free pasta and tortellini. And then they also sent some brioche buns, which were delicious by the way. Some of the best gluten-free bread that I have I've ever tasted in my life and I am not just saying that you guys usually gluten-free bread is kind of dense it's dry this was crispy on the outside soft on the inside it was so amazing I cannot even tell you how delicious it was with pulled pork the other day while I'm actually recording this video I went ahead and popped some of their gluten-free chocolate chip cookies these things are four inches wide I popped those in the oven and I'm gonna try them with you guys they look amazing and I can't wait to to eat 
one. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with sourdough, there are so many health benefits. Sourdough is easier on digestion, it's richer in nutrients and antioxidants, and it helps lower blood sugar spikes. Wild grain is also so convenient because all of their items bake in 25 minutes or less. Their boxes are customizable with new, seasonal, and limited time items. Also, for every new member, four meals are donated to the Greater Boston Food Bank. All right, guys, I am gonna put all the details in the description box below. If you sign up using my link, you get $30 off your first box plus free croissants for life. Simply visit wildgrain.com forward slash pine and use the code pine. Again, you'll receive $30 off your first subscription box and free croissants for life. Who wouldn't want that? If you're like me and you can't have gluten, wild grain is such a great option, especially with how expensive gluten-free items are at the store. And if you just love sourdough bread and you can have it, but you know, it's too difficult for you to bake or it's too time consuming, then this is an amazing option as well. So I hope you guys will check out the description box below for all of the details. Again, go to wildgrain.com forward slash pine and use pine at checkout, P-I-N-E. I'm gonna go try those gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. They smell amazing. I think they're about done and I'll let you know how they taste. Before we move on into the dining room, I'll give you a quick peek into my sunroom. There's not a lot of fall decor happening in here other than some dried hydrangeas that I shared with you a few weeks ago and then a DIY hydrangea wreath that I hung in here as well. You can go ahead and watch my process for making this wreath in my frugal fall decor video. I show you how I put that together. The next room that I'm going to move into is our dining room. A lot of this space I have already shared with you, but there are a few changes that I've made. Um, the crock here in my dining room on my little buffet table, I switched that out for something a little bit lighter. And then um, I have these beautiful stems that I've already shared with you. I grabbed these at Hobby Lobby and just mixed them with a couple of stems from Walmart. And then I have some thrifted pears, which will probably switch over to pumpkins here soon. But I really love the way it all looks. Over on the other side of my dining room, I've just placed a faux pumpkin here that I grabbed at Home Goods. I shared that with you guys. And then I'm hanging some dried flowers, which I think instantly add a fall vibe to your home. I always tell you guys to dry flowers rather than throwing them away because they make for great fall decor. thing I did here in the dining room, apart from what I have going on uh, on the table, which I shared in a previous video, just more dried hydrangeas, is this wreath. I just put a command strip here on my corner cupboard and I hung this beautiful wreath here and it adds some warmth, it adds some texture and I love the way it looks over there. Now in the kitchen, I simply added more dried stems in the basket above my fridge and I mixed those stems with the same uh, sort of berries that I got at Joanne Fabrics a couple years ago. I don't think they sell them anymore. I love the way this combination looks here in my kitchen. And the footage you'll see here of my kitchen is definitely, uh, you know, it's, it's a working kitchen. I'm in here all the time. I spend most of my day in this kitchen. I love to cook, I love to bake. As you walk into the kitchen, you can see here that I am prepping for dinner already. I've got a sheet tray here filled with vegetables that I'm going to roast in the oven. Um, I also have some garden vegetables. Our garden has been producing so much here 
in mid-September and so we have a little basket and the boys always like to grab that and bring it out to the garden. I've got some cucumbers soaking in salt here on the stove because I'm going to make some pickles with them. So uh, obviously, you know, this is real life. We have a bowl full of green beans that I need to blanch and then freeze. But I have added a few fall touches in here, including some beautiful stems that I grabbed at Hobby Lobby here right when you walk into the kitchen. I've also added a pumpkin here next to the kitchen Aid, just a faux pumpkin and then of course a little pumpkin dish as well that I may end up putting some homemade caramels in or something like that. One of the things that I love to do to instantly make my home feel like fall is to bring in candles. I have shared these candles with you before. They are my absolute favorite from Antique Candle Co. And I'll go ahead and link all of these down below with my favorite fall scents so that you can check these out. They smell absolutely amazing. Right now I'm lighting fluffy coffee and oh my goodness, this coffee scent is amazing. There's so many more, you guys, and like I said, I will go ahead and link my favorites down below. Now since you guys saw some of the produce in my kitchen from my garden, I thought I would just take you back there and show you how full and vibrant and beautiful it is. We have been bringing things in every single day from the garden. We have so many green beans. It's been so exciting for the boys to go out and discover new things every day. We have collard greens, huge beautiful collard greens that I cooked for the first time. The other day I'd never cooked collard greens before but they were delicious, tossed with some bacon. And we have tomatoes like crazy. We have arugula and uh, lettuce and carrots and oh my goodness, zucchini. It's been such a wonderful experience. It really turned out to be such a blessing. Now, let me just end by saying that even though my home is picked up in this video, it's usually pretty crazy here in the mornings. We homeschool our four boys and I made these little binders for them this year to help to organize some of their work. And so far they've really been helping and we've enjoyed using them. I just thought I would share them in case any other homeschool mamas would like to create some for their kids. But just know that uh, my home is definitely turned upside down during the mornings as I homeschool. One of these days I should do like a real life home tour for you guys so you can see what my home really looks like on a day to day basis. But today's video was meant to inspire and so hopefully you enjoyed it and you got some ideas and i would love to hear from you guys what do you do to make your home feel like fall it's, but uh, i sure did enjoy taking you guys along today and showing you what i've done so far
if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.